Hey RAV4 owners, today I'll show you how to change the oil and oil filter on your Toyota RAV4. This process is essential for keeping your engine running smoothly and prolonging the life of your vehicle. Whether you have a standard, hybrid, or prime version, regular oil changes are crucial. So let's get started. First things first, make sure you have all the necessary supplies, the correct type and amount of oil for your RAV4, a new oil filter, an oil filter wrench, socket set, drain pan, gloves, and some rags. Also, you need a jack and jack stands or ramps to safely lift your vehicle. We recommend consulting the owner's manual for the specifics of what weight oil and how much you'll need. Today, I'm using Mobile Zero Weight 20 oil and a Fram XG4967 for my filter. Check out the description box below for links to everything you'll need. It's important to note that even if you have a hybrid or prime version of the RAV4, you still need to change the oil at regular intervals. While these vehicles might use less oil due to their electric components, the oil can still degrade over time, so changing it based on age rather than just mileage is key. A good rule of thumb is to change it every 6 to 12 months. Let's start by lifting the car. Ensure you're on a flat, stable surface and put on the emergency brake. Use the jack to lift the front of the vehicle and then place the jack stands under the car for safety. If you have ramps, those work great too. Safety is crucial here. Never rely solely on the jack to hold up your car while you're working underneath it. Always use jack stands or ramps to secure the vehicle properly. Next, use a socket wrench to remove the oil pan cover. I had to use 9 16 and 10 millimeter sockets. Locate the oil drain plug. It's on the bottom of the oil pan. Place your drain pan underneath and carefully loosen the drain plug. Let the old oil drain completely. While the oil is draining, locate the oil filter. Use an oil filter wrench to carefully remove the old filter. Be ready for some oil to spill out when you take it off, so keep your drain pan nearby. Make sure to check that the old filter's gasket isn't still stuck to the engine. If it is, remove it to ensure a proper seal with the new filter. Now take your new oil filter and apply a little bit of fresh oil to the gasket. This helps create a good seal and makes it easier to remove next time. Hand tighten the new oil filter onto the engine. You don't need to use a wrench to tighten it, just make sure it's snug. Once the oil has finished draining, replace the drain plug and tighten it securely with your socket wrench. Be careful not to over tighten it as this can strip the threads. Now we're ready to add the new oil. Lower the car back to the ground if you had it lifted, then locate the oil filler cap on top of the engine and remove it. Using a funnel, pour in the new oil. Since I'm changing my oil with a new filter, my owner's manual says to add in 4.8 quarts or 4.5 liters of oil. Remember, the information for type and capacities of the oil is located in your owner's manual. After adding the oil, replace the filler cap and start the engine. Let it run for a minute to circulate the new oil. Then turn off the engine and check the oil level with the dipstick. Add more oil if necessary until it reaches the correct level and be careful not to overfill. And that's it. You've successfully changed the oil and oil filter on your Toyota RAV4. Regular oil changes are crucial for maintaining your vehicle's performance and longevity. Remember to dispose of the old oil and filter properly. Many auto parts stores and service stations will take them for recycling. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. If you have more RAV4 questions, let us know in the comments below or check us out at RAV4Resource.com and join our free mailing list and Facebook group with over 2,500 other RAV4 owners and is a great resource for asking questions.